On this floor, some of the joints are so badly damaged that we just don't want to fill it with our PE85 joint filler. We're going to repair it first with our TX3 small repair. So what we're going to do is come to this joint, and if you take a look, it's very, very badly damaged already. So we're going to open up the joint with our saw, clean it out, and then use our small TX3 with sand as a mixture, float it down in here, let it cure, grind it off smooth, recut the joint, and then fill with our joint filler. We've gone ahead and opened up this joint as wide as we felt necessary with our saw. It's probably about uh, three quarters of an inch wide. However, if you take a look down here, there's some sections that have been damaged that are even wider. So instead of opening this up uh, an inch and a half wide, we're going to take an angle grinder with the diamond wheel and we're going to cut open and clean those areas that are too wide for the, uh, the saw. And then we're going to come in and fix it with our small TX3 and our sand. Now that we've gone ahead and opened up this joint and we've cut open the big spots with our hand grinder, we're going to use our TX3 to repair it with some sand. We can send out the TX3 B-side untinted. It's very important that you shake it and blend it first before you add the pigment. You want to shake it for about 20-25 seconds or so. Make sure all the polyol side is nice and blended throughout. Then I just simply open up this side. And I'm going to take the tint pack that we've sent out on this job and we've selected a gray color. I'm going to go ahead and put this tint into the container. Very, very simple. We give you enough tint to do this one gallon container. If it's not perfectly in there, that's fine. We give you a little extra because we know it's not going to be uh, easy to get it all scooped in. This is our smallest size that we use with the tint pack. Usually we use a seven gallon kit and a 10 gallon kit. Once I have that uh, pigment in there, I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna shake it some more. You're gonna notice immediately how it's gonna blend in. You see how it's turned uh, dark black like this? I'm gonna shake it for about 25 seconds. Get that pigment all nicely blended in. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, B side. I'm going to pour it into a container. I'm going to measure out equal amounts of B side and A side. Here's my A. The A doesn't have to be blended because there's no pigment. It's just simply an ISO side. Now I've got equal parts A and B. I'm going to take these two products and I'm going to pour them into a separate mixing container. Now this is the TX3 so I have some working time. I'm going to be able, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the uh, A side and the B side together for about 20 seconds. Very simple. This is the product that's 250 centipoids. It's like uh, whole milk. Then I'm going to go ahead and start introducing some uh, dry silica sand. I decided to make a mixture of uh, 30 grit and 16 grit. It's uh, better to have a mixture of sand when you're doing a repair. It actually makes the, uh, the product a little bit stronger in its compressive strength as opposed to just using one grit. So I've got a combination here. As you can see, I add a lot of sand to it to make it nice and thick. This really helps increase the compressive strength, makes the product very controllable. It doesn't run away from you. And it also makes it a lot uh, cheaper because sand is as cheap as a filler. So now that I've got it blended, I blend it for about 25 seconds or so, I'm going to come over to this uh, large joint that we started with and I'm going to start pouring this in. I'm just going to follow along the, uh, the joint here that we've opened up. And I keep stirring it a little bit, make sure I don't get too much settlement. 
just uh, pour it in as cleanly as possible. Then I'm going to take a plastic uh, spatula and I'm going to strike it off. So what we're doing here with this bad joint, remember how bad, badly uh, damaged it was. It's not a good idea to just put polyurea in. Better idea is to fix it first with the uh, TX3 and sand. Take your excess and just fill in the, down, down the joint. Since we have a lot of working time with the TX3, it's very, very easy to make sure that you uh, get the product where you want it to be. I'm going to do this in, along the entire length of the joint. Clean some of this up on the side. I'm going to grab my sand. What happens is if there's a little bit of settlement in the product, it's nice to put sand on the top to make sure that when you go and grind it smooth, it, it's a nice consistent repair that you see. Okay, we're going to wait about uh, 20 minutes and we're going to grind this uh, nice and smooth and then uh, after that we'll recut it. Now that we've repaired this joint with our TX3, this is uh, the cured product right here. As you'll notice, we need to grind this down. So we're going to use a small four and a half inch Zek wheel. We're going to grind this down nice and flush. And once we have that, we're going to recut the joint and fill it with our PE85 joint filler. All right, we've gone ahead now and ground down the repair of the TX3 with the sand. I want you to notice a nice smooth transition from one side of the slab to the other. Now that we've ground this down nice and flush, we're going to go ahead and recut the joint through here because we want to always honor the joint. So we're going to cut through here and then fill this with the PE85 joint filler. Now we have the joint cleaned out uh, with the saw and also we vacuumed it out. We're going to go ahead and install Baccarat in this joint because it goes way deep. We suggest on a warehouse floor that you should go a minimum one inch deep. So a great way to control the depth is with uh, soft Baccarat, which we can roll in very simply with a Baccarat tool. So I'm having some help here stretching the Baccarat. It's very nice. I can control the depth with the, with the uh, roller. And now it's going to make a consistent depth that I'm going to fill the uh, PE85 into.